Here at 10, a quick reversal from Dayton Public Schools today. First, the district announced it would charge students for a mask if they came to school without one. But then just an hour later, that post was removed. Two News reporter Caroline Morse is live outside the DPS administration office after speaking with officials about that decision. Absolutely. Through emails with staff members, they confirmed that they took the post down after receiving a call from state officials promising to help give masks to students who are in need. However, a Brookville resident is ensuring that any student who needs a mask to attend school will have one personally made for them by her team of sewing angels. Paying for a mask that you forgot or lost or maybe didn't get washed or whatever it is, that, that's silly. A local woman says she saw DPS's post deciding to charge students for masks and inspired her to help those in need. Over the course of the pandemic, her team of 75 volunteers has made over 27,000 masks, and now they will be donating 2,500 more to DPS students. There's too many people that still have not gotten back to work, or even if they did, maybe they're living paycheck to paycheck, and you know. A few dollars a week is a lot of money to some of them and they're sitting here. They're fulfilling a need and um, saving lives one stitch at a time. Seen here before the post was deleted, it stated DPS would begin charging 50 cents per mass of students in grades 7 through 12 if they do not bring one to school starting September 13th. In their most recent post, DPS says the statement was deleted within an hour after getting a call from the state that they would help supply face coverings for students. One parent said she was shocked at DPS's decision because she's aware of other families still struggling to make ends meet due to the pandemic. I would rather them ask for volunteers, for parents to, you know, have like a mass drive or something like a fruit, you know, like how they do like the can drive, we do mass drives, you know, and parents and, you know, different organizations may donate masks and everything, but to be charging the kids, that's crazy. Now, if you are a parent that are in need of masks from the Brookville Sewing Angels, those details are still being ironed out with DPS, but we will be sure to keep you up to date on the latest information. Live in Dayton, I'm Caroline Morse, 2 News, working for you.